A California judge called this seemingly out of character for Jeff Fortenberry and said jail time doesn't really make sense in the context of his past and his history. Prosecutors, though, say they hope they see this and that others won't commit a similar crime. He saw, he heard, and then he chose to lie about it multiple times. That's U.S. Attorney Mac Jenkins outside a Los Angeles courthouse after Jeff Fortenberry's sentencing. Justice was achieved by the jury's convictions, and I think the judge made it clear that um, he believes this sentence will deter other similarly situated powerful people from making similar choices, and, and that is deterrence and that is justice in our view. For the first time, we're hearing that evidence. First, a recorded phone call with an L.A. fundraiser who told Fortenberry multiple times that money donated to his campaign may be dirty. Because last time, you know, to fee, he gave me $30,000 in cash in, to give to your campaign. Um, which I agreed to do, you know. So I don't, I don't think we'll be able to do that as much as last time. Yeah, it's yeah. There's no problem. That led to FBI questioning Fortenberry about the money. He lied both times. You were not at the time aware of any illicit donation. Absolutely not. Tuesday, Judge Stanley Blumenfeld sentenced him to two years probation, community service, and a $25,000 fine for his three-count conviction of scheming and lying to the FBI. Blumenfeld said, quote, Mr. Fortenberry was not blind and he was not deaf. He saw and he heard and he certainly knew by June 2018 that the contributions were at a minimum conduit contributions. He decided to respond with dishonesty rather than honesty. Blumenfeld could have given Fortenberry prison time, but said by all accounts, Fortenberry is a man of exceptional character, quote, and the court is convinced that this wrongful, dishonest choice was out of character for Mr. Fortenberry. I was really uh, moved that the fact that by the judge read all the extraordinary letters of support from my children, but also many Nebraskans and people around the country. Fortenberry says the trial has been traumatic and his fight yeah, is not so over. We're going to continue on and appeal this shortly. The judge adds that Fortenberry resigning from Congress is also punishment. Now, you heard Fortenberry there say that this trial has been traumatic. When asked, though, to talk about the mistake of accepting that campaign donation, he pointed to his appeal. Reporting live in Los Angeles, Sarah Feely, KETV, Newswatch 7.